Township of Wilmot, Bridge Street Bridge Replacement, Wilmot Bridge 34-B-T9, Schedule B Municipal Class Environmental Assessment, Public Information Centre, Virtual, 2021. K-Smart Associates Limited, Consulting Engineers and Planners, Kitchener and Sudbury. Welcome to the Public Information Centre. This slide presents a map indicating that the study area for Bridge 34-B-T9 is on Bridge Street, just east of Ty Road and west of Puttacombe Road. The Municipal Class Environmental Assessment Process. Phase 1, identify the problem or opportunity. Phase 2, alternative solutions. We are here. Steps in Phase 2 include, identify reasonable alternative solutions to the problem or problems. Inventory natural, social, and economic environments. Identify impacts of the alternative solutions on the environment and mitigating measures. Evaluate the alternative solutions and identify the recommended solutions. Consult review agencies and the public. Select the preferred solution. Note that Phase 3 and Phase 4 do not apply to Schedule B projects. So on this project, we will jump from Phase 2 directly into Phase 5, Implementation. In Phase 5, the steps include complete contract drawings, proceed to design and construction of the project, and monitor for environmental provisions and commitments. Study background and location. This slide includes a photograph of the Bridge Street Bridge, specifically the north or upstream elevation looking south. The Bridge Street Bridge spans the Nith River on Bridge Street between Ty Road and Puttacombe Road. The Bridge Street Bridge is in overall poor condition and nearing the end of its useful life. In addition, it is deficient in width, vertical clearance, and loading capacity. The study is being completed as a Schedule B project following the Municipal Class Environmental Assessment, October 2000 as amended. The Municipal Class EA provides a decision-making process to ensure that all relevant engineering and environmental features are considered in the planning and design of municipal infrastructure. The process requires public and agency involvement. Some recurring problems. During the last 10 years, this bridge has been closed multiple times. This averages to almost one closure per year. The overhead bracing, portal bracing, is routinely struck by vehicles. This results in the need for frequent repairs to this element. Despite the numerous repairs completed over the last 15 years, every year more of the original remaining bridge continues to deteriorate. It is not sustainable to continually repair this bridge. This slide also includes a photo of the Bridge Street Bridge with the caption, the latest road closure started from mid-September 2021 due to vehicular collision with the overhead bracings. Note one of the bent bracing angles in the picture above. Study objective, problem slash opportunity statement, to investigate possible improvements to Bridge Street Bridge to eliminate deficiencies and provide improved levels of traffic service and overall safety. This slide includes a photo of the Bridge Street Bridge west approach looking east. The goal of this public information center is to display background information, present the evaluation of alternatives considered to address the problem identified, and receive input on the preferred alternative. This slide shows the bridge location using satellite imagery obtained from Google Maps. The image indicates that the bridge location is on Township Road 11A, commonly known as Bridge Street, at the point where it crosses the Nith River. This slide once again shows the bridge location using satellite imagery obtained from Google Maps. The image indicates that the bridge is on Township Road 11A, commonly known as Bridge Street, at the point where it crosses the Nith River. In this image, it's clear that the bridge is east of Ty Road. This slide has four images of the Bridge Street Bridge and surrounding area. The first image is of the far east approach, looking to the west. The second image is of the east approach, looking west. The third image is of the north elevation, looking south. The fourth image is of the view upstream, looking north. This slide has four images of the Bridge Street Bridge and surrounding area. The first image is of the view downstream, looking south. The second image is of the deck surface. The third image is of a typical railing. The fourth image is of a typical perforated stringer. This slide has three images of the Bridge Street Bridge. The first image is of a typical repaired floor beam. The second image is of a typical repaired truss cord. The third image is of a typical soffit. This slide has four images of entrances. The first image is of field entrance one, west of the bridge, looking north. 
The second image is of Field Entrance 2, a future driveway, east of the bridge. The third image is of Entrance 3, a residence east of the bridge, looking to the south. The fourth image is of Field Entrance 4, east of the bridge, looking north. Additional studies completed. As part of the decision-making process, the following studies were completed. A geotechnical investigation was completed to have an understanding of the foundation conditions. A hydrology study is underway to ensure the preferred alternative has no impact on the Nith River. Environmental screening studies were completed at the subject area. An archaeological assessment was completed at the subject area. A Cultural Heritage Evaluation Report, or CHER, slash Heritage Impact Assessment, or HIA, study was completed at the subject area. And finally, a legal survey was completed to determine the location of the existing property lines. Copies of the above studies are available upon request. Evaluation of Alternatives, Part 1 of 4. This slide and the three slides that follow evaluate five separate alternatives on a total of 40 separate criteria. For each criteria, the alternatives are ranked from 1 to 5, with a ranking of 1 having the least disturbance and a ranking of 5 having the most disturbance, except where noted. Each row for each criteria totals 15 points to ensure that each criteria is weighted the same. The first alternative is to do nothing. The second alternative is to repair the existing bridge. The third alternative is to replace the superstructure. The fourth alternative is to replace with single span steel truss bridge. The fifth alternative is to replace with a multi span slab on girder bridge. This slide looks only at the criteria group related to the natural environment. There are seven criteria in this group. Criteria one is the disruption to fish and changes to fish habitat. Number two is changes to vegetation and flora. Number three is disruption to wildlife and changes to wildlife habitat. Number four is changes to surface water quality and quantity. Number five is changes to groundwater quality and quantity. Number six is changes to stream flow. Number seven is potential for ice jams. For detail on individual rankings for the alternatives on each individual criteria, uh, please reach out to any of the contacts listed at the end of this presentation for more detail. Evaluation of alternatives, part two of four. This slide continues the chart from a prior slide regarding rankings of five separate alternatives uh, in regards to multiple criteria. This particular slide looks only at the socio-economic environment criteria group, which has 12 criteria. Criteria number eight is changes to quality and quantity of agriculture. Number nine, disruption to community due to frequent or permanent closure or closures of the crossing. Number 10, disruption to local business due to frequent or permanent closure or closures of the crossing. Number 11, changes to recreation resulting from changing the status quo. Number 12, changes to future development due to frequent or permanent closure or closures of the crossing. Number 13, the need for property acquisition if a new structure is pursued. Number 14, length of construction if work is pursued. Number 15, improvement to traffic movement if a new structure is pursued. Number 16, changes to noise and vibration if a new structure is pursued. Number 17, changes to air quality. Number 18, access to emergency services due to frequent or permanent closure or closures of the crossing. And number 19, change in aesthetics. Evaluation of alternatives, part three of four. This slide continues the work of the previous two slides, which rank five alternatives on a number of criteria. This slide shows two criteria groups. The first is cultural environment with three criteria. Criteria number 20 is the potential presence of archeological cultural heritage resources on or adjacent to the study area. Number 21, preservation of cultural heritage landscapes. Number 22, preservation of existing built heritage resources. The second criteria group on this slide is technical considerations, and there are 14 criteria in that group. Number 23, the extent to which the alternative addresses the problem statement. Number 24, the effect on existing utilities. 
Number 25, the elimination of height restrictions. Number 26, the elimination of load posting. Number 27, the elimination of width restriction. Number 28, the ability to improve the geometry of the roadway. Number 29, the increase of traffic volume and speed due to overall improved geometry. Number 30, need to reconfigure laneways immediately adjacent to the bridge. Number 31, improvements to safety. Number 32, the ability to improve hydrology and or hydraulic conditions. Number 33, constructability. Number 34, construction timeline. Number 35, lifespan. And number 36, the need for ongoing maintenance. Evaluation of alternatives, part four of four. This is the fourth and final slide in which five alternatives are ranked based on a number of criteria. This slide considers the criteria group cost, which contains the final four criteria. They are number 37, purchase of private property. Number 38, maintenance costs. Number 39, cost to mitigate impacts to the natural environment. Number 40, overall construction cost. The final row in the table indicates the totals of the rankings for each of the alternatives. Alternative 1, do nothing, has a total of 116. Alternative 2, repair the existing bridge, has a total of 117. Alternative 3, replace the superstructure, has a total of 124. Alternative 4, replace with a single span steel truss bridge, has a total of 131.5. Alternative 5, replace with multi span slab on girder bridge, has a total of 111.5. Since alternative five, replace with multi-span slab on girder bridge, has the lowest overall score, based on this evaluation, the township intends to proceed with alternative five. Once again, for more details on these rankings and the criteria used, please reach out to the contacts listed at the end of this presentation. Preferred alternative, drawing one of five. This is the first of five slides showing preliminary engineering drawings for a multi-span slab on girder bridge to replace the current bridge. This drawing is the plan view. Preferred alternative, drawing two of five. This is the second of five slides showing preliminary engineering drawings for a multi-span slab on girder bridge to replace the current bridge. This drawing is the profile view. Preferred alternative, drawing three of five. This is the third of five slides showing preliminary engineering drawings for a multi-span slab on girder bridge to replace the current bridge. This drawing is the plan and profile view. Preferred alternative, drawing four of five. This is the fourth of five slides showing preliminary engineering drawings for a multi-span slab on girder bridge to replace the current bridge. This drawing is the general arrangement. Preferred alternative, drawing five of five. This is the fifth of five slides showing preliminary engineering drawings for a multi-span slab on girder bridge to replace the current bridge. This drawing shows plans for erosion and sediment control. Preliminary cost estimate. This cost estimate has seven categories. Category one, general requirements, is estimated at $135,000. Category two, road work, is estimated at $426,250. Category 3, Removals, is estimated at $188,500. Category 4, Roadside Safety, is estimated at $81,002. Category 5, Restoration, is estimated at $62,000. Category 6, Bridge Work, is estimated at $2,482,950. Category 7, Contingency, is estimated at $150,000. The total of these estimates is $3,525,702. A detailed cost breakdown is available upon request. Next steps. Receive feedback on preferred alternative. Finalize the project file. Publish a notice of completion and distribute via the new Hamburg Independent, Township of Wilmot website, and private notice to interested agencies and residents adjacent to the study area. The notice will identify the opportunity to review the project file over a 45 calendar day period. Assuming that comments raised during the 45 day review period can be resolved, the township will proceed with the detailed design, tendering, and construction. Comments regarding this PIC will be received until Monday, November 1st, 2021. 
You can submit your comments by way of either of the following methods. The first method is by visiting the following link and completing the online form. The link is as follows. https colon slash slash www.wilmot.ca slash en slash doing hyphen business slash resources slash documents slash current underscore projects slash pic hyphen comment hyphen sheet dot pdf. The second option is by regular mail or email to either of the following contacts. The first contact is Mr. Jeff Molyneux, PNG. Molyneux is spelled M-O-L-E-N-H-U-I-S. Mr. Jeff Molyneux, PNG, is the Director of Public Works and Engineering for the Township of Wilmot, 60 Snyder's Road West in Baden, Ontario, postal code N3A1A1. Mr. Molyneux can be reached by phone at 519-634-8519, extension 9238. He can also be reached by email at jeff.molyneux at wilmot.ca. Again, that's jeff dot m-o-l-e-n-h-u-i-s at w-i-l-m-o-t dot c-a. The other contact is Mr. Alan Garnham, P-N-G. Garnham is spelled G-A-R-N-H-A-M. Mr. Garnham can be reached at KSmart Associates Limited. They are located at 85 McIntyre Drive, that's M-C-I-N-T-Y-R-E Drive, in Kitchener, Ontario, postal code N2R1H6. Mr. Garnum can be reached by phone at 519-748-1199, extension 246. He can also be reached by email at agarnum at ksmart.ca. That's A G A R N h-a-m at ksmart.ca. Thank you for attending.